I like to make the analogy that learning photography is much like building a jigsaw puzzle. You start off with the easy pieces and work up to the harder pieces. With a jigsaw puzzle, the easy pieces make the outer border. These border pieces are easy to identify and simple to put together. Once completed, this border creates the foundation for the rest of the pieces. And to start you off in assembling this border, we often start with the corner pieces. Why? Because they are the easiest to identify. After all, there are only four of them. Now, in photography, the corner pieces can be thought of as the shutter button, the viewfinder, the preview button, and any other simple to identify function of the camera that doesn't really require any complex understanding of camera technology. Now, by default, the corners expand into the outer border. These easy pieces would be like your aperture, shutter speed settings, uh, menu navigation, and some of the more basic settings. Now these functions are simple to figure out with a little bit of reading of an instruction manual or a quick watch of an instructional video. Now this outer border stage is what I call the unicentric stage. Your attention tends to be concentrated around what you are doing with the camera and its settings rather than what is happening around you. But this is where you start to build your foundation. Now, once you become comfortable with this foundation, this outer border, so to speak, you can start to expand your deeper learning. Now, if you've ever put a jigsaw puzzle together, you know the puzzle pieces are hard to fit together at first. That is because you really have no idea yet uh, how to make these connections between the pieces. With some study and a little practice, getting these pieces to fit together starts to become easier. Now, after a while, you start making small connections, what I call those aha moments. You will begin to see color patterns and recognize various shapes of the pieces. Now, for example, these these blue pieces, they, they go together somewhere here. And, and these orange ones, well, they go somewhere in this area here. Now, in photography, this is where you expand to stage two. Things like experimenting with exposure, exploring your subject matter, learning new editing techniques, or playing with storytelling concepts, just to name a few. Now, here is where we enter the omnicentric stage. This stage is where your attention goes outward towards your subject instead of inward to the camera and its settings. This is also where the previously basic tasks start becoming routine and muscle memory kicks in. It is at this stage where you can concentrate on more complex learning. Now, the third stage is where you will spend the majority of your time. This is where you will work at honing all your previously learned skills as you attain finer and more complex tools to work with. This is the mastery stage. Think of it like graduating from a 300-piece puzzle to a 1,000-piece puzzle or 5,000-piece puzzle. Now, ultimately, the goal is to be able to confidently build any jigsaw puzzle, no matter how complex. But just remember, it starts with the corner pieces. Now, what I hope to do with my videos is give you a helping hand at identifying these puzzle pieces and showing you how they fit together. Now, I won't build the puzzle for you. You'll have to do that yourself. But hopefully you'll see that putting together puzzles, no matter how complex, while challenging, can be a lot of fun. So click that subscribe button, press the notification buttons, and come join me on Zoom as we learn photography with Doc.